Let's take a look at the chart action for the Bitcoin dominance chart. Okay, so here is what we're looking at. We're on the weekly time frame right now. And we're kind of zoomed out. This is a big, this is all the way pulled back till 2017. And we've had this big, huge triangle pattern like this. We broke this triangle going to the downside right here. And ever since we broke that trend line, we got a big, huge altcoin season. And the altcoins have been just going nuts. So right now, it looks like if we zoom in a little bit, you can see that we've been bouncing in between this resistance level resistance resistance and we have support 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 i've actually been watching these orange lines because it's the previous support levels down here so we actually came pretty close to that first level and then we've been getting bounces on that one right now let's go switch it up to the daily time frame and let's zoom in a little bit better and take a look at what's going on right now Basically, if this chart is moving to the upside, you're going to be wanting to look at Bitcoin more than you're going to be wanting to look at the altcoins. And right now, it's been trending down for a while, but we have, we're coming into this support line right now. And if we could get a bounce on this support line and break out of this trend line going to the downside going up, then Bitcoin is going to start doing better than the altcoins. And you're going to see just Bitcoin outperforming the altcoins as this moves up to test this trend line up here. This is just speculation. We haven't broke to the upside or to the downside yet. It's possible that we keep heading down and start hitting this second target. I mean, this is, uh, these are the two targets that I've been kind of hit looking at. And we, we kind of got close to this. Them. we didn't hit that orange line perfectly but we got really close to this area in general and we've got, been getting bounces right here so we formed this trend line right now it looks like we're bouncing right there like I said if we could bound if we could break this trend line going to the upside this is going to be good for Bitcoin and the next area that I'll be looking at is right here and then once we if we come up to right here we're gonna have to work, see if we could break out of this and see if Bitcoin will even do better than it's already been doing or if we start trending down and we get like another altcoin season in general if this chart is trending down then we have an altcoin season and if this chart is trending up just bitcoins just leading the way and it's the the king of the alt the crypto pretty much so yeah in general we are coming down to this support level and we're getting really close to it and basically we, we're getting to an area where we have to choose whether they're going to go up or we're going to go down between this downtrend and this bottom support line. In my opinion, hopefully, I'm hoping that we get a bounce to the upside and we start looking at these targets and maybe Bitcoin takes over. The only argument against like Bitcoin being dominant right now is Ethereum to Bitcoin is looking really good. Look, check out this chart. I've been watching this chart for a while now too. And I don't know where all my stuff went, but we have a flag pattern going something like this. We broke that going to the upside. Right now, what I'm kind of targeting is from the top to the bottom of this flag. I've been targeting this for a while. If we drag that to the breakout, we're looking at a target somewhere up here. So basically, if this chart is moving up, that means Ethereum is dominating. And I've been targeting this area up here because it was a previous top over here. We also have another previous top right over here. We have another previous top right over here. This top lines up with this target. So what I'm thinking is if, as long as this chart is moving to the upside, Ethereum is better than Bitcoin. And that's why I've been kind of looking at Bitcoin. I mean, I've been looking at Ethereum a lot lately uh, as much as I've been looking at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is my number one holding, but I've been looking at Ethereum because of this chart and just check out how it's moving if we go to like the weekly time frame We can see let's check out the volume and the RSI It looks like the RSI is getting a little bit high and the volumes a little bit low also the, the 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 way the price is trending up and the volume is getting lower I'm not sure maybe this needs a correction and maybe if it got a correction maybe then we'll see like if we if we start seeing this move to the downside, maybe then that's the case that Bitcoin might start moving up because the Ethereum money might start pouring into Bitcoin. You never know, but like I said, I'm kind of tar I've been kind of targeting. I've been looking. If you guys watch my videos, I've been looking at this Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, and we've been looking at this flag pattern, something like this. We actually broke this resistance right here. It looks like so. I mean, this is, looks like it's heading to the upside. We have an uptrend going like 
we have an uptrend going like this until it breaks this uptrend going to the downside then I'm gonna assume that Ethereum is doing really good but if this trend line breaks to the downside maybe that's our signal when Bitcoin will start doing really good and maybe that Bitcoin dominance chart will start looking better as well this is just my opinion on what's more dominant right now as far as what's the chart saying and it, like I've been saying I've been watching Ethereum for a while but if we go back to Bitcoin we also are that Bitcoin dominance chart we're also getting very close to the bottom where I've been watching as well like I said like I've been talking about all in this area right here once we start hitting these orange lines then I'm gonna start getting a little bit more serious about Bitcoin and a little less serious about the altcoins because I want to start kind of just start paying att more attention to Bitcoin as we get lower as it gets less dominant I think I don't know I have a feeling that Bitcoin's gonna be bouncing on some of these orange levels I don't know how far up uh, I think at like 50 let's see where's like kind of like an average I mean right here up here was like 70% maybe right here at around 57% I'm not sure where it's gonna bounce back to but it's getting pretty low right now we're at 41% I guess that's not that low but yeah we'll wait and see and see which way we break if we break to the upside on this chart or the downside I think that'll give us another clue maybe if we break to the downside we'll have to start looking at the ethereum dominance chart all right let me know what you guys think if you guys like Bitcoin and Ethereum Hit that thumbs up button because I like both of those and I'll see you in the next videos.